In this video, we're gonna talk about three mistakes that wings or forwards make when they're covering the point in the defensive zone. So when you're covering the defenseman in the zone here and you're a wing or a forward, you're coming out, we're gonna talk about three mistakes that those players make. So the first mistake that this player makes that sets him up the wrong way initially is foot positioning, all right? So meaning that if they're facing this player here and they're looking at this player and their feet are facing this way, well now you can't see anything else behind you down low here. You don't know what's going on. You don't know the rest of the play and that's gonna make it very challenging to play your position, right? The other mistake is that your feet are pointed this way. So you're looking at the play here and you don't see your defenseman. I see this happen a lot. What happens? Well, the defenseman sneaks in behind you. The defenseman moves over a little bit. and Pretty soon, you lose that defenseman that you're supposed to be covering. So make sure your feet are in the right position. Where should your feet be? All right, well, again, if you draw a line directly straight down through that defenseman, you should be back behind that line a little bit so that you can see this defenseman and you can see the puck, meaning that your feet need to be pointed this way, right here. So now if this defenseman wants to skate through, if you're behind this line, they have to go right through you, all right? You're in the right position here. If you're up in front here or even with them, they're gonna be able to go behind you. Now if the defenseman moves this way, you need to move this way a little bit and stay behind that line. If the defenseman moves this way, you need to move this way a little bit and stay Stay behind that line. Keep your feet in the right position. Your knees are always bent. Your head's always on a swivel. You're always looking. That's the right position and that's the right feet angle to be able to see the play, see your player, make sure you know where both players are, make sure you know where the puck is when you're on the strong side. I'm talking about the strong side right now. So I'm talking about the pucks down in this corner and you're covering this defenseman. All right, so when you're on the strong side, that's the proper foot positioning. All right, the second mistake that I see players make, wings, high fours make when they're covering this defenseman is that something will happen along the boards down here along the wall and the other team will bring the puck up and this player will attack down here at the puck. And what happens is that this all this player has to do is chip the puck up and then boom, that defenseman in for a shot. Maybe somebody else has to step over here and cover, which leaves another player open. And pretty soon before you know it, the puck's in the back of your net. It's one thing if you're in your team system and this player's attacking the puck along the high zone here and you step in and you take that player, and then they maybe chip it out and then you stop and come back at your defenseman. Maybe that's part of your team's defensive zone coverage, but what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna come all the way down here for loose pucks if you're not gonna to get to that puck first or if the other team has possession and make it really easy just to make one pass and beat you. So you have to be disciplined in maintaining your position here. Let your players down low here do their job and you do your job. The third mistake I see players making, this is a big one. Your defenseman has the puck right here. All right, they're getting ready to shoot that puck on net. Okay, you're covering that defenseman. You skate directly at the defenseman and they get an easy shot because you didn't go into the shooting lane. You have to come out here at the shooting lane through the puck. This is the shooting lane, is through the puck, not through the defenseman. Can you see the difference there? So when you come out to block that shot, you need to make sure that you're coming through the puck and you're in that shooting lane. Now, you don't wanna skate past, you don't wanna just reach out and try to deflect it. You have to be accountable here. When you get up to that, that play, you need to be accountable, not let the defenseman go around you, but you need to front the puck. It's called fronting the puck. When you get in the shooting lane of the puck, not going at the defenseman and letting that shooting lane be wide open here. So make sure when you go out to block the shot that you're in the right shooting lane even with the puck and how the puck's got to travel to the net, not going directly at the defenseman. Get the stick out, you can deflect the puck with your stick, you can get your shin pads together, you can go down on one knee and block that shot, but don't let that shot get through. That's your job. Don't let that shot get through. Your job is to block that shot when you're that high forward or you're that winger and make sure you're doing your job and the, the number one way to do that is to front the puck. Don't go at the defenseman, get in the right shooting lane for the puck. All right, if you're a forward and you want more tips, tactics, and you want a checklist to help you become an elite hockey player, go to 247hockey.com slash F. Okay, 247hockey.com slash F for forward. There'll also be a link in the description below, the very top link in the description, and I'll also put a link in the comments and pin it at the top, so the very first comment. What's gonna happen is when you go there, you get signed up, I'm gonna send you a free forward cheat sheet, right? It's gonna be, what does it take? It's gonna be a list of tips on what it takes to be an elite level forward, all right? So it's 247hockey.com slash F. It's gonna give you tips on how you can dominate the game as a forward in the offensive zone, in the defensive zone, and everything you need to know. 
If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button right now. If you like videos like this, hit that subscribe button. We're releasing new videos all the time to help you become an elite level hockey player. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what do you think of this video? What do you think the keys are for wings or high forwards to cover that defenseman and to block that shot? All right, leave that in the comments below. Also, do you want to see more whiteboard videos like this? Is there any situations that you'd like to see me break down? Leave that in the comments below as well. I read all the comments and I look forward to seeing yours. I'll see you in the next video.